good. I got so many of them. Hi, we're back. Hello. We'll never know what Brit has so many of. Um, you guys know. No one else will ever know. It's a secret. <laughs> um, <sighs> it's cat puns. It's, it's cat puns. There's, like, no way to make this lighting look better. But whatever. I'm, this is a temporary apartment. Hi! Um, apocalypse. So, we were going to check in on Booty. And I think you're... That's I, me. What is, what is your workstation in Central Park look like? Hmm. It's a good question. I guess it's all like overgrown and stuff, but you know how, um, actually, I don't know if you know, but like, they're like, they're like archways and stuff. There's like sewer, like, uh, domes and concrete walls and stuff. So I've like made a corner of one of those, my, my home, um, slash workstation. Uh, and it's like weird because I'm so used to the candy shop. Um, but now I have to rely on all these weird apocalyptic candy, uh, substitutes, like, weird like grass and leaves and stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah like who cool. makes medicine out of plants oh yeah wow. like wow <laughs> and i don't even have dr house episodes to rely on so like shit's been weird but i'm taking myself really seriously like as a doctor as a crow doctor it is my job to do my best for my patients and their crow needs and so like that's what my office looks like it's like kind of stuck to this concrete wall in the middle of Central Park uh, with lots of stuff around it. And I have lots of like friendly people that come visit me, which is like super cool. And it's kind of awesome. Yeah. Um, so I think when we, when we uh, see you, um, you hear footsteps uh, and there's like, you know, it, it, they step in onto the concrete and they're boots kind of clop um and it's it's a person you've seen a couple of times now they seem to be in charge of all of these people that have like tablets you know affixed to their heads um cool. this person this person you know they're in charge because they don't have a tablet they have like the audience would recognize this as google glass Whoa. The like last existing <laughs> Google Glass apparatus, um, and they're I wearing it. You're gonna say MacBook Pro? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Google Glass, and they're wearing this like one lens. Um, and unlike the people that have like tablets and other things on their heads, this person's thing sometimes has like information going across it. It seems to function. Um, you don't know what it's saying, where the the messages are coming from, or anything like that. Um, but they they have this, and let's see. This person's name is actually it's it's Glass. Their name is Glass. <gasps> Mr. Glass, or just Glass? Just just Glass. Just Glass. Um, they're very tall. Uh, mm. broad shouldered, Ooh. um, and they wear they're wearing coveralls, and it's not like clear beyond. Um, they're very dark skinned wearing coveralls, and they have Google Glass, uh, but it's not like other details about them are not immediately visible. Um, but Glass comes in, and they they kind of look around, and uh, they have. They have like a like a piece of grass like in their mouth, like in a very like it's this odd juxtaposition of like future tech and like a very country like piece of hay. Nice. In their mouth. <laughs> and they say, Ah, booty, you have done some fantastic work for us. Uh oh. Did we lose Los Andrew? Oh no. That means my overlays are a hot mess. <gasps> Uh -oh. It's fine. Oh no! Uh, hi everyone. Oh wow! I'm <laughs> at the bottom of my frame, but it's gonna just listen to us talk. Don't look at our fucked up screens. Yeah, this is fine. I think you can see me if I if I do this. 
I really like that um, it's like the top of Kelsa's head and like <laughs> Trist's torso and like then my torso and Brit's head. <laughs> you can see my eyes if I sit on my foot. <laughs> this is amazing. Anyway, we'll, we'll continue <laughs> on and hopefully Andrew can uh, get back and unfuck everything. Okay. Um, <laughs> Cool. But they say, yeah, you've, you've done a lot of great work here, but I have something a little outside of your wheelhouse, if you're ready. So, honestly, that description of glass sounded totally hot, and so Booty is kind of, like, feeling the, like, the thumping of the heart inside. There's some uh, toki-doki going on. Yeah, there's some doki-doki. Um, and, like, I don't know, so I'm obviously, like, Hi, Glass. You're cool. Sure. What do you? What's uh? What's up? We've got uh some competition out back where you came from, that junkyard, and I'm hoping that you can uh eh, give them a little setback. Nothing too drastic, mind. But something to just keep them off our backs for a little while. Um, I kind of want to uh, read the situation because, like, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty conflicted about that, even if glass is super hot. So I'm going to roll up my sharp. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Partially succeeds. <laughs> um,. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. does that mean I get to ask one? I get to ask one. Yes, but before you do that, um, okay. Britt, can you turn your camera off? Um, Andrew, turn your camera off. <laughs> and then Kelsa, turn yours off and back on. No, like this? Uh, uh, sorry, we're playing musical chairs. <laughs> okay, that literally... Now we're back where we started. Okay, so, listen to me. Andrew, Kelsa, and Britt, turn off your cameras. Off. Off. <laughs> Andrew, off. turn yours on. Then Britt. Then Kelsa. <laughs> we did it. We fixed Yay! it. Good job. Yeah, Cameras. All my stuff crashed. So. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Can you stop doing that? It's kind of interrupting our game. <laughs> yeah, my immersion is like really oh kind gosh. of fucked. All right, all of you can fight me. I love you, Andrew. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we only give you the shits because we love you. I feel like that's exactly what you would have said to me. So I said yeah. it to you. That is true. <laughs> I mean, I can dish it up, but can't take it. It's a, <laughs> okay, a I'll here. keep that in mind. Okay, okay, <laughs> duly <laughs> noted, duly noted. Um, but yes, so you can ask one. You're okay. reading the situation of the person, because those are different lists. I'm reading... I mean, I think I can infer based on the amount of information that Glass has given me that the thing that Glass wants me to do to the people back home probably isn't good. So I think I would rather read the situation. And I would like to ask, what should I be on the lookout for? You should be on the lookout for um, the medicine that Glass gives you for this mission. Whoa. It's some heavy duty shit. Whoa. And and they would give you they would give you um a very, very small bottle, like a like a iodine bottle with like the dropper. Mm-hmm. And they would say, All I need for you to do is to take this, find a source of water, and just just one drop. Just what? one. With what what does it do? It's a fungicide. Now, 
this is something that <laughs> has passed out of common usage in, in this modern modern era, but there's uh, been some overgrowth out that way. I just need you to tamp it down a bit. Mm -hmm. And trust me, these plants, if they... I'm a plant man, and he gestures around of Central Park. I'm a gardener. These you are weeds. Are. These are weeds. Ugh. <laughs> and you're not going to hurt anyone, are you? Like, this isn't like... You're not gonna like hurt anyone. No, I'm no not a doctor. <laughs> no people will be harmed. No just people. weeds. Just weeds. Okay, what do I get out of it? Besides some sweet medicine. Do you give... want to like go on a date? <laughs> give me a seducer manipulate. They might be into that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> After they figure out like subtle seduction. <laughs> We, we've seen Booty operate before. I missed. I think they laugh. They burst into laughter. Um, I think I think Glass finds is absolutely hilarious, and I think as they're laughing, like some something like blips across across their eyepiece, and they like have a renewed like round of laughter. And when they finally, like, calm down from the knee slapping, they say, now, 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 that's a little bit hasty. I, like, do... shuffle my crow feet. Do what I ask of you, and then we can talk. Okay. You okay. come back come back and see me once that's done. And we okay. can have some quality time. Okay. That sounds cool. <laughs> You're really cool, Glass. So how do I get back there? Because, like, I mean, I guess I have some sweet crow legs now. They would they would help you navigate. Um, oh. Out of out of Central Park, I think. I think there would be like some gunfire in the distance as they like get you out. Okay. But nobody will comment on it or explain to you who they're shooting at or why. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm on my way back to old home. Old home, indeed. Old home. And I think, um, like, we get a shot of this, like, eyedropper bottle that you have, and then we cut over to Oler in their den. And what what are you doing? Like, what is what does your plan look like? What's what's up with you? Um. So I mean, we have a few more people. Mm -hmm. like, things have kind of slowly been growing, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um. I think we're probably feeling like ready to go for another run into the city. Okay. Um, at least Oler is. So that's where that's where you get all the good, you know, dead people and stuff. From. Yes, yes. There's been an increase in in bodies, in fact. Um, but maybe I will go try to recruit Rill to come with me. Okay. Now that Rill isn't, you know, trying to kill me. Yeah, Rill. Rill's had to change her heart. I mean, she was still cool before, but now it's just like yeah. Even better. Now the conscious and subconscious are not trying to kill you. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Pods have changed. <laughs> um, but when I go to find Rill, it's with my whole gang with me. So it's just like this like little crowd of, you know, toaster cats and weird half dead people and then me. Uh, where is Rill hanging out right now? like these days in general uh well i'm at the junkyard because i was about to go with bob into the city so i think i'm just kind of after granny gucci said she didn't want to go i'm kind of like poking around and see if there's any stuff i want to ask her if i can take with me before i before i leave but i'm kind of just like trying to 
trying to find some stuff I might want to take and kind of dragging my feet a little bit so I'm so hoping are, she are kind of changes Are you trying to take mind. stuff from my junkyard? No, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm only looking around. If there is anything that I see, I would totally ask you uh, mm. before taking it. I'm not trying to steal anything. I'm kind of yeah, dragging my feet, sure. hoping that you'll change your mind. Also kind of eyeing around for like stuff that I can use to creatively light things on fire in the city. Um, but I won't, I won't take anything without, without asking you first. I'm just, I'm shopping around basically what I'm doing. Kind gotcha. of browse, I'm browsing at this moment. Mm. Hmm. Okay. okay. And I think I would tell you that too. I just say like, you don't want to come. Do you mind if I take a look around and see if there's anything I can maybe well, borrow? We, we may be able to come to an equitable uh, solution if there's anything that you find that you're interested in. Cool. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, fuller. Yeah, so maybe you come around some big pile of junk and we're all just like there. I think maybe, yeah, it's like you <laughs> stumble into finding me. Okay. And I'm like holding court in the junkyard. I have some little like pile of trash that I'm squatting over. <laughs> and like I'm surrounded by all these, you know, people and toaster cats, cats and, and whatnot. Dead. Yeah. Uh, uh, and yeah, like Oler's head just like snaps over as soon as you like make a sound <laughs> over there. Uh, I would just be like, hey, who are you and your friend? Do you like fire? <laughs> um,. Yeah. Yeah? What are you what are you all doing right now? Do you want to go to the city? I'm about to go to the city with Bob and you know, just Bob wants to go to the city, I'm gonna go to the city, check it out, maybe, you know, see what's there to see or burn. You never know. I just keep it a cash casual. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> I was gonna go to the city again and look for more bodies. Bodies. Bodies are pretty flammable. I don't want you to burn them, though. I'm not saying I would. I'm just letting you know. I like I like to point things out when they're flammable. Uh, but if you need them, you know, there's lots of flammable things in the city, which is something that I like about the city. Well, if you need someone to keep you safe while you're there, I can help you with that. That would be great. Do you know Bob? He's coming too. He's waiting outside. Yeah, and I just, like, you see Oler just, like, turn and, like, <laughs> look at Bob as if, like, he's just the lowest scum. You know, like, just, like, my nose wrinkles and I kind of, like, sneer. I'm like, why are you hanging out with Bob? Mm, I don't know. He was just there and said he wanted to go. So, do you want me to light him on fire when we get there? Does Bob react at all to that? He can't hear me, can he? He's waiting outside. I'm assuming he's like off in the distance. He's like not TV. in earshot. Like if oh, you okay. all like turn and look at him and make like stank face, he'd be like, uh-huh. Hi. Oh. But he can't hear you. <laughs> um, yeah, Ola replies and you can tell that they're dead serious and they're just like, yeah, you should light him on fire. I'm totally fine to do that because I just don't care about Bob. <laughs> uh, and I really like that someone is finally encouraging me to light things on fire. <laughs> it's a to blossom. Your your art is going to... Yeah, know. I really appreciate yeah. that. The queen really kind of re-inspired me and now I'm looking for more encouragement and inspiration and I'm finally hearing it from Oler, so I'm very happy and I literally don't give a shit about Bob, so if that's going to make Oler happy, I will... I will totally light Bob on fire. But I'm going to wait till we get to the city in case Bob can help us. So is that okay? If I light Bob on fire here, Grady Gucci's going to get super pissed. She does not like me lighting things on fire around her for some reason. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm going to wait so I don't upset her area. I'm not scared of things like she is. So... I want to see things burn. Nice. But can you wait till we get to the city for it? That's okay. I have some ideas about what we can do once there's a fire. Nice. Cool. 
And so Do you Ola, want to bring your toaster cap? <laughs> yeah, Oler just starts like walking in the direction of the city, like as if you're just gonna like follow right now. Okay. Um, and yeah, like the whole gang just kind of like slowly falls in line. I'm totally happy about that, and I'm also kind of just like eyeing the toaster cats for like flammability. <laughs> just like I wonder how hard it would be to use them to light things on fire. But I don't want to light them on fire. I'm a little, I'm a little still kind of scared of any kind of cat. So <laughs> I don't know why, but something in me tells me to fear cats. So These I cats mess you up. Yeah, I am not like in any way trying to mess with them. I'm just like curiously looking at them with curiosity and fear and happily marching outside. I'm like, come on, Bob, we're going to the city, bringing friends. Oh, oh, wonderful. Finally, and Oler, it has been so long since I've seen you. And like midway through that sentence, Oler's just like, shut up, Bob. Are you like, there's like a and little I'm just like, pause? Yeah, Bob, be quiet. <laughs> and he kind of looks around and he like kind of, <laughs> oh, youth. Kids I'm just these like, oh, days. Bob. Oh, Bob. Nobody likes you. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Let's go to the city. So, yes, this, like, uh, merry band of, uh, I don't even know, shit wreckers, <laughs> shit wreckers heads off towards the city. Uh, Granny Gucci, what are you going to do during this exposition? Oh, well, I figured I could work on some kind of a project. Hmm. Uh, I, did I ever actually get to finish my, my party bike. Uh, you needed a speaker for that? Uh, I, that was what I needed the soldering iron from, which I did get. I think you've gotten all of the things that yes. you needed. Um, so, yeah, you by now you would have had time to, because it was mostly done at the beginning of the game. You just needed I think a so. few parts. So, yeah. Which means I can work on a new project that might also be interesting. Mm -hmm. So where did, uh, I'm looking through the physical book because why not, I have it here. Um, so yeah, I want to dedicate myself to getting to the bottom of some shit. All right, there is um, a lot of shit. God, isn't there? So, uh, I, I want to know more about what happened to Rill to see if it might actually be possible, if there's any way it could be adjusted to, I don't know. I, I want to know what the fuck is going on, basically. Okay. Like, really, that's what it boils down to. It's a very broad fuck question. Is going on. It is a really broad question, but there's, like, so much shit going on, I don't even know where to start. So um, this is this is a workshop thing? Yes. Workspace? Workshop. Um, yeah. Uh, I, so I want to get to the bottom of this shit, decide what, and tell the MC. The MC will tell you, sure, no problem, and then list one to four of the following. Uh, it's going to take hours, days, weeks, months of work. You'll have to get, build, fix, figure out blank. You're going to need blank to help you with that. It's going to cost a fucking shit ton of jingle. Uh, best you'll be able to do is a crap version, weak and unreliable. It's going to mean exposing yourself plus colleagues to serious danger. Uh, you're going to have to add blank to your workplace first. It's going to take several dozens or hundreds of tries, uh, or you're just going to have to take blank apart to do it. Well, well, um, to get to the bottom of, and it was, what was it about real specifically? Like what she was before and what she is now. Ah, uh, well, like, yeah, to be perfectly honest 
Um, and I must because I'm the MC. You're obviously going to need real on hand. Mm. And not only do you need real on hand, you're going to have to take her apart if you really want to know. It's it's like neuroscience. You can't just like be like, "Yeah, oh, there's a brain in there." Like you, you got to you got to dig deep. Oh, real. Now, I don't think Rill's going to like that. If you had, like, an angel on hand, Rill could be put back together again. Mm, I see where this is going. I'm just saying, like, if you want to figure out a person, yep, 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 yep. you're going to need a doctor, you're going to need the person, and you're going to need some invasive procedures. Well, then I guess once I have all of this laid out and I realize that more than what I need real to take her apart is I need a booty to put her back together again. Yes. So I think like as Rill and Oler are like heading into the city with like the whole gang, all the cats, like Granny Gucci putters up in her her. <laughs> uh her her beat up car and uh her her old Honda Accord baby and just honks the horn you know i was just i was just thinking that maybe maybe we could find out what happened to booty if we were to go into the city Everybody's like, do we do we need to do that? <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> side eye, so uh, much side eye. And Bob chimes in, and he's like, "Oh, booty, yes, yes. Uh, she is exactly the person I am on my way to go locate. So that would be helpful to me." Oh, oh, Bob, you're still you're still around. Oh <laughs> yes, I've been around for some time, and I will continue to exist. Oh, surprising. That is a that is some wishful thinking on Bob's part. <laughs> Seems like it. So I uh, um this is this is Granny Gucci following following you guys into the city. For sure. Okay. All right, she's not gonna like it. No, no. I love this campaign because it's like, hey, let's go to the city. Whoa, we got fucked up. But let's go to the city. <laughs> we can't stay away. Can't stay away. It's it's beautiful. Um, and also, like, several of you are, are very injured, actually. Grandma Gucci, <laughs> uh, I think you're gonna, unless you're treated, you'll just die. What? Uh, eventually. I mean, I, I am at 10 o'clock. I became, I was at 9 o'clock, which was stable. But I dropped down to 10 o'clock, uh at the beginning of this session. So if I don't get some treatment, that's just going to keep getting worse. So I'd really like to see somebody about that. Yeah. If only we knew someone who could help. I love this dynamic mm. where like everybody's super injured, but everybody also hates the angel. It's great. <laughs> no, I love you. You're just a horrifying bird monster and I'm scared. I'm scared. We, we do love Tara. She Booty. can't accept the real you. Booty has been so. terrifying since character creation. Let's be real. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's it's true. Everybody was Come like, on. here's my fucked up person. And then Tara was like, but let me throw some real shit on you, though. Yeah, like, I made a character who is very expressly and explicitly a cannibal. And I, I'm, I have more friends. And I'm better <laughs> liked than Booty. <laughs> That's that's where it's that's where it's come to. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> uh, yikes. Um, pro tip stream. If you want friends, don't drip gore. And make I mean, don't be a terrifying dentist who's actually a creepy <laughs> bird monster dripping gore. Like yeah. don't do that. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Who lives in a candy shop and runs around in mascot a costume doctor. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> a doctor with principles. A dentist is a doctor. I know you're a real doctor. 
I just kept thinking of you as a dentist with the chair and the candy and <laughs> just made it creepier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some kind of weird, like, inverse dentist. <laughs> yeah. One that rips your teeth out for fun. I'm Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yikes. Um, oh, that's an interesting <laughs> question. I wonder if, like, your medical practice before the campaign started is how you built up a reservoir of gore, despite being a mechanical... Mostly mechanical. It's just all the leftovers from years of doing surgery. <laughs> you just, you just like, <laughs> any time they touch the blood, it just, like, right into their skin and underneath it. It's. I mean, I, mean it's, I still like her. She doesn't like me because I let her get shot. But... I still like you. I'm yeah. pretty loving. Like, You're I'm good. a very loving, crazy You and I are good. <laughs> I, think, I thought we were good when we went to the hall. I really, I want to like you. Like, I do, but... I bird. wish I believed you. Well, maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe the scene where we go hang out with Booty will redeem her. And yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, find out. Let's, let's draw back from the, like, Dr. Phil meta layer and... <laughs> go back. <laughs> get back yes. into the game. I moved we up. don't have to rely on pure conjecture. We can, we can find out. Yes, we can make some rolls and have some things happen. So I think this caravan into the city is happening, and then... In the opposite, coming in the opposite direction, we have Booty on her, like, she's, like, basically doing a roadrunner. Just, like, zooming down the street. That was my best roadrunner impression. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'm, am I, is this me now? Is it me? Yeah, you see, like, you see probably a dust cloud of, like, this really jankety car and a bunch of, like, walking people, and there's some, like, toaster cats that are scouting out ahead, but there's definitely a group coming your way. Oh, they're coming at me. I mean, you guys are going in opposite directions, yeah. Yeah, we just both happen to be going, you know. Can I, just... like, go around? You want to avoid them? Yeah, fuck yeah. Defy danger. Um, it's do something under fire. Oh, God damn it. <gasps> act, yes, act under fire. The fire being that this gang uh, that wants to murderize you notices you. Well, when you put it like that. I mean, what yes! does she have? Yes! <laughs> wow, terror with the boxcars. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm just like, real funny. And then ev evade. Evading Roadrunner. <laughs> you just like okay. make a hard okay. like ninety okay. degree turn. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I guess I just get to a point. All y'all, uh, fuck you for abandoning me. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> um, and so, no. and so I'm like, okay, that's awesome. And I guess I just get to continue on towards my mission now. Yes. Yeah, Sweet. I think I think like ships passing in the night, um, or more like somebody ducking bill collectors. Uh, you <laughs> are not able. <laughs> like Booty no. sees you because you're like a really big like horde of people <laughs> in a pretty desolate landscape, and Booty sees you coming and is like, "Yeah, we're pretty no. obvious." <laughs> I do not want that today, and ducks around you. Awesome. So I guess I'm gonna head in. Uh, yeah, to you you're gonna head into not the city, the place. What's it called? The junkyard. The junkyard. Thank you. Yeah, it was like you um, do an about face. Yeah, but like I thought we didn't really even have a water supply. I guess all of our has a water supply. Yeah, mine is secret though. Yeah, huh. yeah, it's secret. It's hidden. Okay, so I guess I need to open my mind to find out what the fuck I should do in this place. That I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to live in. Hold on. Uh... Succeeds uh, partially. Uh... This is interesting. Um, I think. I think you get like a flashback, like a very, very. Like, a flashback that you have zero context for, but the audience would recognize as, like, um, oh my god, my brain is blanking on the word settler? 
they're set i want to say immigrants but they're settlers um like the people that oh, colonizers there we go um the colonists uh and you see them kind of like digging um and you see like kind of like a a like a sped up version of them digging and building a well. And you see this well um, existing for a while as like civilization progresses around it. Um, and eventually it's knocked, it's like done away with. Um, and what you see instead is uh, stairs down into a train station. But okay. that's that's cool. kind of where it stops. Is that is the subway station at one point was the site of a well. Okay, so I'm like trying to figure out if that means that there's a thing. This place is it the place that I'm going to now, or is it back where I just came from in the city? And I think I um, in Booty. I don't know how much context Booty would have on what a subway station even is. Or what a well is. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, you saw some shit, but I don't yeah. know how Booty would parse that. Probably not well. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, the closest thing that even resembles any of those things is probably the junkyard. So I would probably head directly into the junkyard and start scouring for whatever the fuck I saw. Yeah, I need you to make a roll. Uh Um, Let me just verify what it is. Read a sitch, maybe? No, but I do need you to roll plus sharp. Oh. So I go roll 2d6. Roll 2d6 plus 3, which is my sharp. Plus your sharp, yeah. Uh, oh god, I never remember how to do this. Wait. <laughs> Slash R. Damn it. Space. <laughs> 2D6 plus so 3. You can, just, you can just pick uh, the one under... Ah. Okay, that works too. Sorry. Um, well played. Yeah, um, you, never... you enter the junkyard, and normally you feel the eyes of the toaster cats, and you hear, like, the precarious creak of metal around you and these like teetering piles of, of mechanical refuse, but it's oddly deserted and you find your passage is like perilous, but not, not injurious Uh, to you (laughs) this time. Thank God. Cool. Awesome. Cool. So I enter the junkyard all as well. Um, do I get to, I don't know, I guess I just have to, like, wander around. Should I try and read the situation? Uh, you can. You can. That will tell you some things. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. A lot of rolling going on. I'm going to try and read. Yeah. How we play a game. Ask me a question. Partial success. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Why didn't it open? There it is. Hmm. Well, I don't want an escape route. Don't really don't care about the enemies. Ooh, what should I be on the lookout for? Hmm. With a partial success, um, it's bullseye. Who the? <laughs> and you and you hear you hear the voice of bullseye, um, who you worked on once. You you fixed yes. his arm. I did um, a good job. Yeah, you, you gave him a bubblegum cast. It's a good and, job. <laughs> and, and Bullseye uh, will call out to you. And he will say, oh, Booty, you, you must have heard the call. The call? Yes. Yes, the call to build. Build? And kind of squints build. at you. Build, build what? what Our new you, future. What? And what? he would like walk up to you and like <laughs> grab your hands and like look at you very earnestly and say, Booty, so long we've been living in this, this place of destruction and and squalor, but I want to build something new. 
Who's we? <laughs> oh, you'll meet everyone. You'll meet everyone. Uh huh. Uh, well, I gotta, I gotta do a thing. So, like, I can help you build something, but uh, can you, like, do you know where there's like water somewhere near here? You have to dedicate yourself to it. To the water? <laughs> to Is our there... new future, Booty. You have to dedicate yourself. Well, you can't really do that, though, because I kind of got this crush on this guy named Glass, and he's, like, back in the city, so I, like, really don't know what's going on with you, and I'm so sorry. I don't really know what's going on, but, like, I can help you do other stuff. He seems, like, a little me. frustrated. <laughs> It's like, Booty, this is so much bigger than your, your petty romantic concerns. This is the petty! future. <laughs> this is my future. Glass could be my future. How could you say this, Bullseye? <laughs> I thought you knew me. I, I thought we had an understanding. Listen, if you can... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you can guarantee that Glass has a future in that future, maybe I would be interested. I don't know this person named Glass, and I can't say whether they fit into the plan. Well, he's really dreamy. He's super tall, and, like, Dagny has this, like, really cool thing on his face that I've never seen before, and it looks really awesome. And he kind of laughed at me, but it was totally hot. I guess he's cool, whatever. He's back in the city. <laughs> if Glass is of the city... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Listen, I don't know, Bullseye. I'm really sorry, but like, unless you're gonna give me something, I absolutely cannot agree to help you. Really sorry. I can't go down this path. I already don't know what the fuck is going on 99% of the time. And I'm a doctor. <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head. It would have been better for you to have joined now at this phase. It'll be much more difficult if you try to do it later. Or if you're forced to do it at the end. But I can't make you make this choice. Can I read Bullseye? Can I like Yes, figure you out? can. Oh my god. Well, I should do that then. <laughs> <laughs> when you make that face, generally it means you need to read an NPC. Can <laughs> I do it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um... Bullseye backs mm. away when you start cackling. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> I see everything. <laughs> okay, so we get to ask three questions? Mm hmm Okay. Um, how can I get my... Wait, how do I get... How can I get your character to... Is that the same as being like, how could I get Bullseye to show me where the water is? Yes. <gasps> yes! That is my question. That is my first question. You have to... Um, you have to, you have to be inducted by Oler. Inducted? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you asked. I got, I'm just giving you the facts. See, this Bullseye character is doing, doing right by us. It's nice to hear that. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> Your heart swells with pride. You have to be, you, get, you have to join the club and Oler... Oler can can get you in. Okay. Um, what does Bullseye intend to do? Bullseye is gathering seeds for the harvest. Bullseye wants lots and lots of people to join. <laughs> Bullseye uh, just wants everyone to get along. Just okay. pretend I said that. I mean, what you said was he Whoa. wants That's different than what you said. He wants like seeds for a harvest. <laughs> just seems really bad. I don't know. <laughs> um how's Bullseye feeling? <laughs> Bullseye's disappointed that you don't want to join this grand vision. 
He doesn't understand your resistance and why you want to continue to live in this shitty, squalid life instead of building something great. Yeah, he's not mad. He's just disappointed. Yeah. (laughs) He's got, like, sad dad face. He's just a sad dad, disappointed dad face. Oh, that's so I wanted so much more for you. (laughs) Sorry, dad. (laughs) I choose glass. A person I have met once for five minutes. (laughs) <laughs> don't throw don't... your life away on a person but I don't know what the seeds are but they're not giving me any fucking information so I feel like I can't just like you know what I mean seeds of a harvest just sounds like fucking terrifying like I mean he's disappointed in me <laughs> okay. I mean you drip gore from your beak so like on the scale of horrifying things like game recognized <laughs> game game recognized <laughs> game fine Fine, fine. Okay, okay, okay. I can work with this. I can work with this because smart people know how to do things in situations even if it's about lying to other people. So I could lie and say, I will join, but not really mean it. So I will be like, bullseye, listen, I was just thinking, God, have you been working out? You look great. I was just thinking, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe I am making a big mistake. Maybe I should join you. That sounds cool. You're so cool. You're cool. How do I sign up? Is there a form? (laughs) (laughs) Kind of squints at you. He says, Oler has to induct you into our ways. Mm -hmm. But like... I think I saw someone leaving. So like, I don't think he's around right now. Maybe we could do like an IOU, you know, like and he kind of do laughs. Thing now. <laughs> he says, yes, yes, they, they've stepped out, uh, for a bit, but, um, you know, we could go to the candy shop and wait. It's been some mm-hmm. time since I've partaken of your, your wonderful treats. Interesting. Can I, like, wait, it might be too soon to manipulate. Okay, I'll take Only you to the candy shop. I mean, I'm not a very good manipulator. <laughs> but, like, okay, I will take you to the candy shop with me. If you could, like, help me understand the general area that I will be meeting Aller in, when it is time to be inducted. Oh, yes, I can tell you all about our bright new future together. Okay. You just you, you just haven't you that. just haven't heard what we're envisioning. Yes. I'm yes. so excited. Yes. I will can tell you, you like, all about it and when Olga gets back, me. you can join. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is a great plan. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Let's and, go. <laughs> So the two of you will head (laughs) off towards the candy shop, and then we are going to take our second break. And when we get back, uh, raid on the city party. And we'll see what fucked up shit you guys get into this time. Yeah. All right. Hang tight. We're going to go on break. Uh, We'll be back with more uh, random ass bullshit uh, in a bit. (laughs) 